Hey, I'm Bennett. This is Living My Alaska on YouTube. It is springtime in the land of the midnight sun. We're collecting what we call homesteader gold, also known as firewood. We run our chainsaws, we test our new log splitter, we haul it all around with the ATV that we call the beast. And it's time to get to work. Let's go. It wears just one way. If you flip it over, then it's gonna balance the wear back and forth. It's kind of like rotating your tires on a car. So one of the things I see on a lot of YouTube channels is how people start their chainsaw. There's a right and a wrong way to start a chainsaw. Don't quote me on this, quote the makers of the chainsaw. What you don't do is something called drop starting. Drop starting is where you grab the saw and you do this and you push the saw away from you. This is a little tiny engine, folks. It doesn't take a massive amount of force. When you do this, it puts extra stress on this mechanism and it's gonna shorten the life of your starter. The correct way to start a saw is to either place it on the ground, put your foot in here and start it. But I'm not crazy about that either because it puts the saw into the ground. Anyone who ever has run chainsaws long enough knows that the death of a chainsaw is putting it into the dirt. Moisture and dirt or death to a high performance chainsaw. So the other way, according to the manufacturers, so you, if you hold the chainsaw between your knees, you can pull it and start it here. Or in this case, I've got this log here that's perfect. Make sure the saw blade is clear, brake is off. And in this case, pump it twice here, choke it, and then pull it. We're breaking out the big saw now, guys. This is the real deal. This is the Steel MS362. This is Steel's top technology professional level saw. But amongst professionals, I'm sure there's walkers and other Alaskans are like, Haha, that's not a big saw. To me, it's a big saw. And to most people, it's a big saw. It can take a much larger, longer bar than this one. But this is about as much as I can handle. These things are built in such a way that if you take care of them, like the manufacturer says, they will do their job. They'll keep their promise. And that's what I've seen, especially from this brand of saw. Okay, after two years of sitting, folks, here's the moment of truth. Does this thing start? I've pulled it four or five times to get it primed. She's ready to go. It's already hot here. That's what we want. We let it run just for a few seconds. So excited. This is my pride and joy. <laughs> if you have to have one saw, folks, and you got to pay the money for it, this is the one to have. This is the pile of all of the uh, wood that we just ran the chainsaw to cut up and I've stacked it all here. So what we have here is my older splitting ball and then something I found on a recent trip to the local hardware store. By comparison, you can see this splitting ball looks like a sledgehammer with a sharp end on one. This gets pretty heavy and it wears me out swinging it. It's also hard on my back and my shoulders. And so I bought this. This is called a splitting ax as opposed to a chopping ax. A little bit heavier than the chopping axe, but not as heavy as that big maul. And I can't wait to use this, and the first time I'm gonna use it is right now. Oh, that feels fantastic. The sharper blade on the end of this thing makes it so much easier to swing through this wood, and it's not as heavy. Fantastic. Good tools in Alaska make all the difference. Oh, I like this axe. What took me so long to get one of these? Oh, that is the way. This is the way, folks, right here. If you want to know more about some of the things we use in Alaska, put it in the comments. Let me know. So one of the things I'm curious about, maybe someone out there watching this knows, should you sharpen this head? I've read some people say you don't sharpen the edge on a splitting maul. Well, this is technically not a splitting maul. This is a splitting axe. Do you sharpen this and how sharp? If anybody knows the answer to that, please let me know. Send me an email at livingmyalaska at gmail.com or uh, put it in the comments. Give us the answer to that.
brand new log splitter for my sweetheart, her new toy. We're gonna start this thing for the first time. This is a DR 25 ton Can I try? log splitter. Yes, absolutely. All right, go ahead and pull it, see if it starts. Well, I, no, I'm just, um, I'm going to split this, but I need to go get a, uh, a large piece of round wood to put as a base for a chopping block. You going to come help me? <laughs> yeah. Good. I'm going to clean this up real quick. Yeah, sure. No, I don't. I'm just going to go over there and cut. I'll be right back. Let me put a dryer sheet on me. A neighbor's running a router saw or something. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go try to find a large. Can we go in? Sure. Hop on. The base of that thing might be good. I want to go see what kind of berries they are. So that thing rips. It's gonna be our splitting block. Yeah. And we can split these into some great firewood. Man, we have some huge ones in there we can cut. Yep. These woods need to be cleared. See that one right there is a prime firewood too. It's been off the ground all winter, so it's dry, it's aged. <laughs> It's not that heavy because it's you know it's rotten so it's not it's not as heavy as it looks. But that's gonna be a good cutter. Cutting block. It's the top, it's probably rotten a little bit, but I think we can make it work. Firewood. 
Oh, that's all of it? Oh, Did you realize there was a road down there? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how far back it goes. I don't know. What I'd what I like to do is keep on clearing that path that goes back in there, make it a right turn and come back up right here. So we can come back here. We can get your chainsaw and, you know, another day and Lamp cut. All that and rip all that and, and cut it. That big monster over there, we'll have to figure out how to get on the ground. You know, we got enough firewood in here for a year. Mosquitoes are terrible. I know, it's bad, isn't it? All right, you ready? They're huge, too. Yeah. Winds are heavy wind. Does that. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, we almost got almost. stuck. We have so much more to share with you when we live the wild life in this great land. If you like this video about these super cool, powerful chainsaws, check out our video playlist on tools and toys for Alaska. I'll show you some of my favorite things that help us live the best life we can in Alaska. All right, back to work. Thank you so much for watching as we hunt, we harvest, we homestead, and we adventure our way through the last frontier. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos because we have so much more to share with you as we show you what it means when we say we are living my Alaska. See you next time.